Well, there's some very disturbing developments in the case of the Texas National Guardsman who drowned last Friday while trying to rescue an illegal immigrant. An invader. According to a report, he wasn't provided with the proper rescue equipment. In fact, most Guard members have been left without proper safety equipment to perform their duties. And now it's reported that National Guardsmen have been given stand-down orders to not pursue any more water rescues in the Rio Grande. And do you think not having a lifeguard is stopping the migrants? Of course not. In the El Centro section in California, Border Patrol agents apprehended a group of more than 50 migrants. This river, by the way, is considered one of the most polluted bodies of water in North America. And even that is not enough to stop the migrant invasion. Joining me now is former acting secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf. Welcome. Welcome, Chad. uh, Acting secretary. Chad, Chad, good to have you on. You know, can you can you just take us through what's going on at the border? We're we're watching. um, Mayorkas say everything's under control. They're managing the border just fine. Meanwhile, they're trying to put together a disinformation board at the same time. I mean, the, the, these are total incompetence running the show, are they not? Well, we, we have an ongoing crisis at the border of historic proportions. So we've never seen these types of numbers and these types of illegal crossings and apprehensions and the illegal narcotics that's coming across the border today. You know, we're doing all of this in the shadow of Title 42 being uh, pulled down as well. And so you're likely going to see these numbers increase and spike over time. And DHS has rolled out this six point plan over the last week or so that says they have this under control. But if you actually look at the plan, the plan is just surging resources and individuals and bodies to that border to simply process these individuals into the country quicker and faster. And I think that's the wrong approach. I think it's actually going to facilitate and incentivize more and more of that illegal migration that we see. You have to solve the problem at the border and not simply try to manage it. Uh, And that's the problem that we're facing today. And that's look, that's their approach going forward. They're not trying to hide it. They're very vocal about it. Uh, But I think it's wrong, uh, the wrong approach. Yeah, Chad, were you I don't know this. Were you were you there, uh, DHS, in 2019 under Trump? I was. Yeah. The April of 2019 had 17,000 people caught at the border. 17,000. Now they're expecting if they roll back Title 42, there'll be 18,000 a day. But the whole month had 17,000. Well, again, we were putting in in plans, procedures and policies, whether it was the Remain in Mexico program, the asylum cooperative agreements or a number of other things that provided a deterrent to these would be uh, immigrants. Because at the end of the day, they vote on whether or not they're in the United States and they're calling back home to say, I'm here. I got in. Border Patrol released me. I'm staying until, you know, I can see that immigration judge, which is years and years away. If they do that, you're going to see this continue to occur. And that's what's occurring now versus right. putting them so, back so, on a plane. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I have an idea. I even talked about it in, in the monologue in the A block. Why? are the Democrats, and it was under Obama the same thing, but under Biden as well, why are the Democrats so in favor of, of allowing illegals to invade this country? They don't want to, they don't want to close the border. Why, why, what is your assessment of why they're let, letting this happen? Well, I think there's a couple of different things at play, and, and a lot of folks speculate on this, but one is they don't believe in immigration enforcement. So whether they are not, as they get here and they get past Border Patrol, obviously DHS under this administration is actually not removing anyone. So they don't believe and actually removing individuals. And that in and of itself is the biggest incentive of all. But at the end of the day, and really starting on day one of the administration, they simply rolled back everything that was that, that Trump had put in place. There was no analysis. There was no evaluation of is it successful or is it not? So in large part, they were against Trump. And so they pulled down everything, which is really how they got. Uh, let, me, let me take it one step further. Here's, here's a controversial comment, provocative. I think they, they don't they're looking the other way and they have historically because they believe that the, these people at some point they will be able to get amnesty for them. They'll be able to get citizenship for them. And these are literally looked at as future Democrat voters. What are your thoughts of that? Well, I don't disagree. I certainly I think that's some perspective. But I, I think if you look at the fact that in South Texas, that's not simply the case. I mean, you have districts and, and congressional districts down there that are overwhelmingly Hispanic that are moving towards that conservative or Republican stance now. So I think that cuts against that narrative, but you're right. That could be what they see and and what they try to try to do at the end of the day. I don't think that that is really an effective strategy. Yeah. Well, let's hope not. Um, Chad Wolf, always great having you on. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you. Coming up the hot take next and the balance after this. (laughs) 